Welcome to JTV News. I'm Ino Soman. Thank you for joining us. Coming up in this newscast. Leader of the Opposition calls for the controversial Public Accounts Committee report on the port development to be discussed before any public discourse. BVI Ports Authority reveals new designs for the cruise port development and calls on businesses to submit letters of interest for commercial space. Minister Walwyn hopes this year's school leaving examination results are indicative of the upcoming CXC CSEC examination results. 192 HLSCC graduates encouraged to stay grounded and become beacons of enlightenment. Several coastal areas in the BVI are already showing signs of climate change. Greenland Sewage Works is complete, commissioning set to take place in a few days. Government officials discuss road and drainage rehabilitation with Palmtown residents and business owners. And did you know that the BVI has a rat-free paradise? Yes, it's Sandy Key. In news from the Caribbean, the opposition ALP led by incoming Prime Minister Gaston Brown won Antigua's general election. And an audit of government accounts in St. Vincent and the Grenadines has revealed what appears to be serious deficiencies. In Medical Edge Health Report, for years scientists have been searching for reasons as to why ALS causes persons to lose their ability to move, eat or even breathe and why FTD causes severe personality changes. A discovery at Mayo Clinic offers some answers, a new hope for future treatment of these diseases which are fatal. That's coming up a little later. When we come back, you will hear more on the proceedings from Friday's House of Assembly meeting. You'll get a look at the new design released by the BVI Ports Authority for the Cruise Pier Port Development.